Hi guys, just a very quick one for this evening. Um, just as we're we're ready to sign off for the day, really. Uh, it's a quiet Wednesday evening, and uh, we're looking forward to the weekend. Unfortunately, no live sport to go to. Um, over the winter, um, I put a lot of thought into these videos, and I'd like to thank um, all the people that have contributed and replied and given ideas for for subjects and topics to to cover been really helpful half a dozen people have suggested things and we've tried to cover what uh what's been suggested that was really good i hope it's been done well i hope it's appreciated um my last video covered the wayne madsen thing and <laughs> wayne's very kindly contacted me and and basically said uh he can't remember how many times he's been out reverse sweeping it must have been loads of times i suggest he needs to practice a bit more maybe um but uh we had a good crack over twitter and again thoroughly nice bloke and everything's been taken in the way it was meant so i thank him for that uh, i'll send him a copy of this later on as well uh so we looked at the likely times when cricket was going to start again and the information I've been given uh, as a prediction is that we're to be prepared to start on time. So that would be, uh, I think, the 17th of April. I think that's the right date. Is that the right date? I don't know, maybe, maybe the 16th of April. Uh, the Saturday anyway, around about the third Saturday in April, which is the, which is the right one. It's, a, it's a, the normal time start. So fixture secretaries are no doubt uh, scrabbling and scraping away now to, to get fixtures ready. Um, hopefully that gives a, a start for grassroots uh, sport in other uh, guises as well. For example, football. It'd be nice to finish off the football season a little bit. Um, I know Super League rugby starting. The Premiership's obviously continued. Grassroots football would be a great thing and to get cricket started on time would be brilliant, even if it's with the food and uh, bar restrictions and changing room restrictions as, as was previous. I'm sure it'll all come back eventually, but for now, perhaps start with that. So hopefully 17th, 16th April, whichever the date is, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Um, but that third week in April, hopefully. Um, now I'm hoping to do a pre-season review, which will be like a five, ten minute thing of some of the local leagues plus also maybe a, another marquee league you know it's going to be the Huddersfield league because you know that that's what I'm going to do so I was maybe going to look at the Westmoreland league the Palace Shield and the Northern league very very briefly not going into much detail but just briefly and give a few uh, pointers and predictions that, that I think may happen so far as who's going to win it and things and players perhaps to watch out for and then hopefully on a Sunday morning uh, to give a quick roundup of um, particularly notable games that have happened and performances. Uh, and that would be relying on the play cricket results being entered uh, in a timely fashion for all leagues. Some leagues are better than others, uh, but I hope to have that posted every Sunday by by noon. And if results and performances aren't, aren't there, then unfortunately we're going to miss out for that week. So, so we look to do something probably Friday evenings, and Sunday mornings, that's how it's going to be. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I'm hoping to do this, uh, time allowing and, and other duties allowing, but I think it'll be all right, as long as you don't want to go into too much detail. Uh, so just a couple of things for you to look at whilst you're waiting for the cricket season to start. I know we all really like grassroots sport. So I've got a couple of books that I've been reading through. Uh, first one is... Um, it's backwards, you can't see it, but it is the home of footballers. A history of Runcorn Northern Union Club by Mike Latham. Um, really worth a read. Social history at its best. Super stuff. Mike's written loads of books. They're all very noteworthy. In particular, the, the selection of Cumberland uh, cricket yearbooks that he wrote. There's must be four or five or six of those. Full of stats. This one's more on social history. I'm not into rugby. 
uh, really, and I'm not really into social history, but I've read it from cover to cover and, and I really liked it. It's just his style that does it. And then one of Mike's friends, uh, a chap I've met, Tony Hannon, has written a book, uh, and again, it's backwards, you won't be able to see it, but it's called The Wicked Men. Uh, it's called The Wicked Men, and its uh, subtitle is The Last Rights of Minor Counties Cricket. Now, what happens in this book is Tony uh, talks about Cumberland Cricket Club, and then later on in the book, he goes on to, to local leagues uh, and the description of a tour of the the Cumbria area and local league cricket that he did in conjunction with Mike. Very, very readable book. It, it, absolutely astonishing. Um, I'm not at all biased by the fact that I appear in it, but uh, I do a little bit. But it, it's a great read. Again, written with great humility, no hubris at all, just wonderful humility, brilliant descriptions of grounds, places, people, and again, social history. Two great books for you to look at before the season starts. I've got my copies. Everyone's going to want to borrow them. You can't. They're mine. Uh, so you need to buy your own. So you've got The Wicked Men by Tony Hannan. And the home of footballers, a history of Runcorn Northern Union Club by Mike Latham. Highly recommended, smashing books, brilliant authors and just nice guys. Something for you to chew on uh, and hopefully you'll uh, be uh, striding out on the uh, third Saturday in April. Uh, probably hugely disappointed by the dodgy LB you've been given at... Uh, uh, at 10 past two when you were just getting into your stride at three not out or uh, just after you've been smacked for 17 in and over uh, at 20 past two and then none of it's your fault and the batsman's just having his day it's one of those isn't it so let's get back to cricket hopefully third week in april and if i can keep up to date with the previews and uh, a quick roundup on a sunday previews on a friday a quick roundup on a sunday i'll endeavor to do that to keep you all up to date hope you've enjoyed listening guys uh and let's uh let's keep on and keep trying to spread the word thanks guys